welcome to Chuck's Diecast and Model Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at this car. Um, this is, uh, of course, one of the most famous supercars you will come across. This is the Ferrari Enzo, made in the early 2000s. This particular one is by Hot Wheels, and it is in a 118 scale. Uh, Let's go ahead and take a look at this model here and uh, you know just give you my impressions. Uh, first of all, um, I do like this model. It's uh, nicely detailed. Um, I've seen a few Enzos. In fact, I've sat in one. Everything seems to be, uh, you know, to scale and proper. And so, yeah, I have no problems with uh, the model itself for the price. Of course, uh, if it were not more, you know, for a uh, $300 model versus the whatever I paid, you know, 50 or 75 bucks that I paid for it. Maybe I might have a beef with uh, some of the details like the uh, no glass in the windows here or the, uh, you know, the uh, lack of photo etch mesh. Uh, but other than that, like I said, it's, it's nicely done. Um, you can see the wheels are pretty decent. Uh, it's funny to see a car like this with uh, such relatively high profile wheels because cars nowadays just have ridiculously low profile tires. Uh, you can see here that the brake disc turn with the, uh, the tires which is nice and uh, the uh, badging on the side um, is a decal and it's not um, you know a photo etcher you know standing proud of the uh, the bodywork, but it's still it's still decent. Uh, you can even see that there's a Pin and Farina logo down here as well. Um, the badge in the front as well is not uh, a badge, but a decal also. Uh, I suppose the of course the detailing in the uh, headlights could probably be better. You know the plastic, you know is uh, you can see you know around the edges of it, and of course you wouldn't see that in the actual car itself. Uh, but, um, you know, again, not too bad. Um, there is that, uh, of course, the uh, mesh in the uh, the front that is just, uh, you know, plastic and not photo etch. Uh, taking a look at the rear of the vehicle, again, not bad. Um, the, uh, the back mesh for the engine bay is, again, just plastic and not photo etch. Uh, but the uh, the Ferrari logo on the back does appear to be photo etched because it is nicely detailed. Exhaust pipes not too bad, and uh, good representation of the tail lights too. So again, a good model. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the engine though, and it is the the lid itself is plastic, uh, which does lend itself to making it able to stay open due to its light weight. Uh, you can see here that the engine does have decent detail in it. Uh, there's the intake plan in there with the uh, Ferrari logo. There's the uh, uh, chrome exhaust. I don't know if it should be chrome. Um, there's some representation of wiring. Um, the suspension here is, uh, well, it's not, you know, real springs or anything like that um, but again not bad and there's also the of course the uh, filters and the for the air box as well so again um, a good model and by the way you can also see that there's a window here into the uh, passenger compartment there which once you close this allows the driver to see through the uh, uh, the rear glass, but also not have engine noise coming in because there would be no uh, there would no, be no separation between the engine bay and the uh, uh, passenger compartment if uh, that wasn't there. Uh, taking a look at the uh, interior here, uh, let's see. Uh, again, not bad. Um, you can see the uh, Ferrari logo on the uh, steering wheel. You can see the pedals back there. 
um, you know there is a rear view mirror so that's decent um, I mean I guess it's again what you would expect for a model of this ilk um, the seats are well it's hard to see but um, they are uh, you know decent uh, race seats you can see that the uh, seats do contain the perforation for the uh, racing seat harness and uh, so again uh, a good model so in the end uh, no problems at all with this model um, Hot Wheels back when they still had their contract with Ferrari of course um, did make some very uh, good and uh, quality models of Ferrari so I'm very happy with this one I hope you like this video and of course if you did just uh, click on like and you know sign up for my uh, page as well uh, you have yourself a great day and again thanks for taking a look at Chuck's diecast and model reviews goodbye